What's up, Sushi Squad? We back again with some more Trove to Drove, and this is gonna be probably a shorter video, but we're gonna be highlighting uh, the new mounts that you get out of Leviathans. So the funny thing is that if you guys didn't already check out uh, my last Trove stream, I'm sorry that this Trove videos have been so sporadic lately, but I just been, I don't know, things have been pretty crazy with my life lately. So, anyways, um. If you didn't catch the last stream, uh, basically I spent like 15 or 16 minutes swapping all my gems over to Chloro, and then we basically just had a really good time uh, fighting Leviathans and stuff, and I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to you guys uh, who ended up constantly inviting me to those Leviathans. Now, with that said, the point is that I don't specifically farm Leviathans. Uh, now that we actually have the Chloromancer as a boss killer, I can, and that's the sweetest plum of all. Uh, because there is these new Leviathan mounts, the hover cycles, right? But they end up costing a tempered torch of each of the bosses, respectively. And a tempered torch means that you have to beat the Leviathan three times to end up getting the weakest torch possible. But then you can combine those three torches uh, into the Sunseeker torches. Uh-huh. Uh, so that you can end up using that torch to end up crafting these mounts and I didn't think that I would end up getting that for the longest time Most of all just because of the fact that the recipes to unlock these hover cycles is really really expensive And on top of that, like I said, I just didn't really grind leviathans because the whole thing is that these mounts uh, Actually do have recipes to unlock them so we can actually uh, Look at let me actually just look in the store for the hover cycle so you can see, this is it. This is all we've got for the hover cycles right now, just in the uh, in the player market. We've got the Cyan one, which is from U8 Leviathan bosses as a rare drop. Uh, then for some reason, it goes from Cyan to Red. Red actually being from the U10 Leviathan boss, which is funny because the orange one, which is from U9, is the most expensive and you want to know why? It's because nobody farms the Leviathan in U9. Like, people are either farming the Leviathan in U8 because they, you know, U8 is obviously the most accessible of the Leviathans. And then everybody else who has gotten to U10 and the proper end game is going to be farming the uh, red hover cycle from the U10 Leviathan because, you know, obviously if you get a perma torch out of them, it's beautiful and blah, blah, blah. Because Leviathans can also end up dropping a permanent torch, which uh, the whole point is that these torches are all temporary uh, but a permanent torch is one that is one of the rarest drops in the game but it will end up being a torch that does not expire so just before we get started with actually showing the mounts and i'm sorry that it took so long but i felt the explanation was necessary i gotta let you guys know that if you're new to trove you can use that sign up link down in the description and then anything you buy out of the cash shop i make a percentage of that sale seriously thank you if you've done this already and thank you if you are about to do it because it's not going to increase the price of anything it's just a way of helping my cost of living so anyways with all of that covered and out of the way let's take a look at all of these hover cycles they're actually a lot cooler than i thought they would be but that's not saying much like the whole thing is that these were items that were created by a modder even though it doesn't seem to actually say um it doesn't seem to say who it was developed by. They also do seem to operate as a ship, which is quite interesting. I didn't even know that, so we'll get to try that out. But I really like the style of these. Like, I was actually pleasantly surprised to see how cool these actually are. Because it feels like a really futuristic uh, type of mount, you know? It doesn't make any sense to be a drop from a Leviathan. Okay, like clearly the devs just grabbed these and then randomly threw them into the Leviathan's drop pool and it's stupid, but whatever. I mean, it's a cool mount because the whole thing that's neat about it is it's got some lightning VFX in the front because it's got like a static field or whatever. Uh, and then the back actually has a sphere uh, that kind of is hovering in the air and it actually is uh, rotating and it just, I don't know, there's something really cool about this mount. Like it's really, really unique. You know, I haven't really seen anything else like it. Obviously, it's just a motorcycle reskin. Uh, and that's why the Chloromancer is going because Chloromancer for some reason shakes like crazy on mounts like this. But anyways, it's really cool and I really like it. I, I was actually very pleasantly surprised when I ended up uh, crafting it. Let's see if we can go to a water world and see how this operates. Probably not going to be anything super fancy. 
Uh, however, you got to consider that this is, whoopsie daisy, this is of course going to end up being probably one of the first mounts, uh, at least that I can recall. Maybe there's another one that does it, but it's one of the only mounts that isn't a turtle that actually ends up working on the water. And I think that's really, really cool. Like, look at that, dude. Obviously, the VFX are very, very broken because it's not actually having a stream of fire coming out the back or anything. I do like, uh, I mean, the water seems to be really messed up on the video effects as well. It's really, really fast as far as the boat is concerned. That's not bad because uh, it's actually got 110 movement speed, which is nuts, dude. The turning, not awful, uh, but boats generally kind of suck. I I would prefer, like I've talked about this many times before, I would prefer if they just overhauled boats so that they operated the same as a mount, but just on the water. So it was kind of like you just walk on the water and can turn them on a dime and just, you know, rather than being like a vehicle like this where they sway and are kind of useless because it's like nobody uses boats, man. Either way, this is pretty cool. I'm actually surprised and I like the uh, Back to the Future reference just because, you know, hover cycle, whatever, whatever you know cool um but anyways let's move on to the next one so uh, again this is going to end up being the one that is out of a uh u8 leviathan uh and then there's going to be the orange one which is probably one of my favorite and this is going to be the one out of the u9 leviathan this one i feel is a lot cooler just because it's got the proper uh proper delves or proper trove geode colors you know where it's orange uh, and then all of the electricity and stuff like that, it's not orange anymore. So the, the color has actually ended up swapping with this one. And just generally, I really like this. Uh, another thing that you guys kept saying on stream uh, that these bikes remind you of was uh, sparrows from Destiny, which yeah, I totally agree. That totally makes sense. This one seems to be working with the video effects. Like the the fire coming out of the back seems to be working i think these are all just the exact same stats so it's not that big a deal um you know to end up checking them out on the on the water anyways but then i mean otherwise of course it's just a normal mount just uh drive it around and stuff like that but i, I again i like this one i think that this is probably my favorite out of them here, I'll try and get on something here for a better contrast so you can see the mount uh, in all of its beautiful, splendorous glory. I love it, though. Like, I really do. I I was very pleasantly surprised and shocked at how cool these were. That said, let's move on to the red one. The red one kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie because you see that the cyan one, okay, cool. It's blue and it's orange on the inside. You swap over to the orange one, and then suddenly it's reverse color. It's orange on the outside, blue on the inside. Uh, and then we end up swapping over to the red one, and it's red on the outside, and then kind of blue on the inside. Like, it's it's literally just the same thing. It, look, it doesn't look as good as the other ones do, in my opinion. Is that actually a different color? Um, let me see. Yeah, it is. Okay, so the energy is a slightly different blue, but still, I would have preferred to have, especially this being the one from U10, I would have preferred to have this one look significantly better than the other ones. Either it would end up being a lot bigger, a lot more vibrant, more video effects, something to make it more worthwhile and actually coveted, because otherwise, for me personally, this is my least favorite out of the hover cycles. Like, it just doesn't... It looks like it's just the orange one, but it's red instead. I mean, maybe that's maybe that's your favorite color. Maybe you guys like the red, but I just personally don't feel that red fits as well with the theme. I don't know. That, that's just me, though. But, I mean, either way, it's still cool, you know. Maybe if it ended up having better stats than the other ones, like if it had better mount movement speed, that would be pretty neat. Or something. Something to differentiate it from the others. I personally think that all of these uh, cycles, all of the hover cycles could have actually had different stats from one another uh, so that they would end up, you know, having a little bit more going for them, not only in terms of their looks, but most of all, just their functionality. And I think it would be great if they ended up having something like this be, I don't know, like the fastest mount in the game. It would make sense being a hover cycle and being something that you can only get from the end game. Now, here's the funny thing. I just want to let you guys know about this last uh, last second here. Where the heck is it actually under? Uh, Geode? Is that what it's under? No, uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so oddly enough, 
Like the funny thing is, if you guys didn't already know, there already are mounts that you can get out of the Leviathans. I, like it's so weird because these are just mounts out of the Leviathans, right? But also the hover cycles are the spinning one is kind of cool because it makes sense with the crab guy He actually drops two of them uh, and then there's gonna be this one right here Which I mean I've already had another video highlighting them and talking about how these are really cool But I don't like how I don't know they, they it feels like they should be more unique because technically the most unique mount in the entire game out of boss drops I would argue is the dread mount which literally was its own skin and is just a gigantic crawling spider mount and then suddenly we've got this which has absolutely nothing to do with the leviathans and it's just I, I don't know it's just it's kind of weird and i hate to sound all nitpicky and overly critical uh because i do still really like these mounts i just feel that their placement is a bit odd and i also wish that i would actually be able to walk this on the water and just drive around instead of it operating the same as a boat but hey whatever anyways that video was longer than i thought it would be thank you so much for watching gamers really appreciate it hope you enjoyed smash like sub for more buy the merch you want support the channel and have a great day sign on and stay epic gamers